Well hello and welcome to the garden. I'll take you out for a little spin. This is uh, the front of the shed which is uh, just been revamped inside a little bit. And uh, the good old greenhouse there, not forgetting Mr Owley there. He's uh, always around when, when he wants but never. But he's a bit camera shy. Uh, recycled barbecue onto blocks because the uh, legs broke. And uh, this is the front of the shed. Let's take you inside. Ah, Bo. There's uh, my faithful companion Bo. He's uh, gonna follow us. Come on then. Let's take you inside the shed. There we go. Come on, Bo. Bo. Come on. That's it. He's got his bed. He's uh, all nicely settled down now. And uh, he's quite happy to sit there while I do some bits and pieces. So, just to relay this out a bit. So that uh, it's a bit easier to, a bit more room to work in here. Great tins for nails and screws. Uh, keep all the bits and pieces in here. Uh, protective gear, mustn't forget the protective gear. That's most important. And I've uh, got all my electric bits and pieces there. And uh, this is some of the bits that uh, I'll be looking at doing. There's uh, my cup of tea, for my cup of tea there. Just shut this because it's getting quite windy out there now. Uh, yeah, I upcycle whatever I can and uh, see how it goes. So I've got a selection of drills and such. But um, yeah, the, uh, all the little nicks and knacks in there. Now this is a candy mo uh, tumble dryer motor. Now I've taken it apart, unfortunately I didn't get footage of it the other day but I've got another couple which I'll be taking apart, should have soon, uh, should be picking up next week. And um, the nice thing is it's got its own it, system so it doesn't need a lot of work, it's just three wires Earth, live and neutral, nice and simple. Nice pulley down here for the uh, for the belt, which is over there, hanging up. There's the uh, the belt for it, and I'll be working out something to pull that on. On this end, I put a clip on there. I'll get some nice big washers and lock washers, put another clip and drill through and put a, a split pin so that so I can put a, a grinding wheel on this end and away it goes. I've just got to wire it up. That's the lead off of the uh, tumble dryer so waste not one not. And uh, there's my power source which then connects into extension lead into the house. So when I'm sat in here, I can look out the garden and enjoy the garden. And as you can see, there's work to be done. I've got uh, about two tonne of gravel got to go down there. I've got the paths to all redo. So, yeah, there's quite a bit more there to do. Well, that's just a quick overview. Um, I'll take you indoors in a moment and show you some more. As you can see, Bo's used to it in here. He immediately snuggles down. He's got what was a potato tray. And uh, he's got his duvet. And he just settles down and he's well away. And I normally make myself a cup of tea while I'm waiting. In any case, let me take you indoors in a moment and I'll show you what's going on in there. Hi. Right, well, I've now come in because it's now a nice wet sunny, cloudy, drizzly 
North Shropshire afternoon. We have quite a strong wind. They are predicting very strong winds today. So uh, it's not the day to be outside doing things. So this is my lounge. And a lot of people think, you know, when you're salvaging, it's all going to be industrial and uh, antique and, you know, so on. Salvaging is what you want it to be. It's not something you have to sort of think, oh, it's got to be you know, big machinery and you know, expensive Victorian and Edwardian and Georgian chairs and furniture and so on. Everyone has their own idea of salvaging and it's what you want. It's not what people think. So you can go to a charity shop you can go to an auction now and again. You can go to car boots. You can pick up you know, items which basically salvaging is repurposing, reusing. And that's the point. And this is what I'll be sort of showing you in my travels. Is what I pick up to repurpose or reuse. Um, or just to have as nice objects. I mean, you know, everything you see here is from auctions, charity shops car boots uh, I don't believe in spending massive amounts of money but you'll be surprised with the cost of some of the items when you get them home tidying them up or repurpose them and make them into something which is nice and pleasing we all have our own ideas of what we want and this is just a little in shot of what my ideas are of what I want I want stuff which I like. I'm very interested, as you can mostly tell, in every, in anything to do with nature. Uh, so <laughs> I'm afraid that sometimes will be one of my main things. But as you saw with the tumble dryer motor, I'm also interested in upcycling things for repurposing and reuse. So it's going to be a eclectic mix. It's not going to be anything in particularly which is going to be just one particular item, just one particular thing. Here's a good example of upcycling. These uh, little cabinets, that one there is starting to be my rock and mineral collection. And over there, I've just started to do my fossil collection. There's my sunflower designer Italian 1970s sunflower lamp this is one of the things that I'll be showing you at some point because at some point the uh, two leaves the two metal leaves got snapped off before I got it this cost me about 40 pound at the uh, one of the charity shops but once restored I'm look I'm looking at several hundreds of pounds Here's a good upcycle. That was a little uh, walnut dining, a little uh, walnut uh, coffee table. So I had these horns, various different sorts of horns, um, ram's horn, buffalo, uh, longhorn cow from the USA, uh, standard cow horn, and a boar's tusk. So I needed something to put them on. So I thought that looks perfect. It's got that sort of um, trophy plaque look. So I mounted them all on there. Got some little plaques and had them done up. And that's what I've got. Uh, we come round and here's some of the things I like as well. My two pheasants there, Lady Amherst and a golden pheasant. And in this one is a golden eyed duck and a stoat. Now, these didn't cost me a lot of money. They needed work. This one had no cabinet. So I just got some wood, made a cabinet. And um, it's a little bit of work to do. I've got to get these ends sorted out. But um, apart from that, I'm happy with it. As you can see, I like to collect insects and nature anything to do with nature there's there's a mink skull and that's a, a, a um, musk 
rat skull so lots of different things so there's some of the other stuff I collect actually the boats and there's some various different model metal model planes uh, these are not toys these are collectors items um, and they're there for a purpose we've got the uh, short sterling and got the wellington and then you've got the handy page halifax and of course mustn't forget the spitfire one of the mainstays and the yacht there i fully restored it was just the the keel um, the sails and two broken masts so it was a case of putting the mast back up getting the scales cleaned up quick put through a, a 14 minute wash cycle did the job and then uh, get it strong i used a colored a blue colored cord because that's what i liked um not very heavy cord and attached it to the original points where it was attached to before and there you go so in all its glory it's now quite a nice little little thing with the bone craft the scottish bone craft schooner in the front the table lamp sorry the standard lamp is just a basic standard standard lamp copper with a moroccan style lampshade and i've got another one up here which i'll turn on so you can see there you go i give lovely light it's um you know really nice to see that we have a dull evening it brightens up the day and then you know, pictures oils watercolor and acrylics and a couple of uh, nice antlers that's um a fallow deer a young one not that, not that old these are natural deaths they're not uh, they've not been killed these were we, these were found on animals which had died um, naturally in the wood that one there came from mortimer forest in shropshire it's a nice uh, large fallow deer and it's from the long-haired fallow it's only you only find those in mortimer forest the long-haired fallow deer and uh, their hair is just a little bit longer than the standard so very lucky to get that one so there i've got the two types of fallow that's a nice ornate uh, glass mirror i'll say hi I'm, I'm not very keen on coming in front of the mirror um because you know if i come in front of the mirror you, you see me so i'm i'm a bit camber shy so we'll come away from there so that's uh basically the hallway and the way to my front door uh, that's a nice little coffee table which uh, the wife um decoupaged and did a sort of a shabby sheet type paint look which i use for put the um plants on in the hallway but i'm a great advocate of plants yeah it must have plenty of plants keeps the air fresh keeps it tidy and it's just nice to have um, here we are looking outside again well if you've liked this video please subscribe and give us the, the thumbs up and uh, catch you again next time. Take care.